the Big Three, Fantasy Alarm TV. I'm your host, Ray Flowers. It's Wednesday, May 11th, and it's time to talk some pitchers. Let's start out with the number of 2.1. That's the miles per hour on the fastball that Jacob deGrom has lost this season versus last season, and that's a concern. 94.9 miles an hour last year, 92.8 this season. You can see that loss of velocity really affecting him in the strikeout column. He's gone from 9.2 in his career to not even 6.1 strikeouts per nine innings of this season. That's a 50% reduction in his strikeout rate. A massive concern long term. Now, the velocity has been down for DeGrom since spring, so it's not a new development that we've seen a lack of velocity. It was really sloughed off as no big deal, but I'm concerned. We're talking about three months now of a guy not having the velocity we're used to seeing. Unless those strikeouts come back up, it's impossible to think he can sustain an ERA anywhere remotely close to the 212 mark he currently owns. His whip is already 1.21, which is a good number, but obviously well above, above what the expectations are with the Grom. At least he's generating more grounders. The ground ball to fly ball ratio is up about six tenths of a point, almost two to one. That's nice to see. But the loss velocity is a concern with the Grom. It continues to be a concern with the Grom. And until we find those strikeouts, can't look at him as a league pitcher, even with his early season success. The next number is 12.27, which happens to be a, the strikeout total of a guy who is getting them. Alex Wood of the Dodgers over his last three starts. Now, Wood is herky-jerky. He's a lefty. He hides the ball. He does all these weird things. The stuff doesn't dominate. But when he's on, he can be very effective. And we've seen that happen an awful lot during his young time in the big leagues. Now, 12.27 strikeouts per three games, great number. As heartening to me is the fact he's only walked three guys in those three games. That's all often a key with Wood. But let's understand, he's also only had three quality starts in seven outings. He's a little bit hit or miss still, even with the success of late. A 2.2 ground ball to fly ball ratio, something I really like as well, just like I did with DeGrom. But we need more consistency from Wood, certainly trending in the right direction. Whip can be an issue, though, but if he keeps those walks in check, watch out. Final number of the day is four. That stands for the lost velocity on his fastball on Tuesday night by Hector Santiago of the Angels. Now, San Diego came out after the game and said, look, I noticed my velocity was down four miles an hour on my fastball. My arm feels fine. I'm not hurt. Okay, fine, but guys don't normally lose four miles per hour on their fastball. That is something to keep an eye on. Other factors to keep an eye on with Santiago is that the numbers on the outside last year appear to show him as a better pitcher than he really is. I've been warning about him since before the season started in the Fantasy Alarm Draft Guide. Strikeout rate right now of 7.3 would be a five-year low. He's always been a homer-prone pitcher. Way too many fly balls, and he gets beaten with that. Even though now he's struggling worse than his 1.2 home runs per nine at 1.5. He can't afford to lose velocity with his pitching style. If he's getting those home runs allowed when he's throwing 93 miles an hour, if he's throwing 89, he is going to get hammered. Keep a close eye on the miles per hour mark with Santiago. Even if he is healthy, if that velocity doesn't come back, he has very little chance of being anything other than a league average hurler at best.